continuation with the uh, video of cross multiplication i'm going ahead by using the same cross multiplication but this time it's double time why because we have to change this this particular given equation into a reducible form into a simultaneous equation in two variables and then we'll apply the cross multiplication and in this particular question or in these type of particular questions we'll be able we'll have to apply it twice okay so let's start with the first step where we'll say let one upon x plus y because that's the denominator okay in these two terms so one upon x plus y equals to a and the second denominator that i have is one upon x minus y so one upon x minus y equals to b so what will happen with the equations first equation will change as 5 times 1 upon x plus y minus 2 times 1 upon x minus y equals to minus 1 so that will change as 5a minus 2b equals to minus 1 right and the next equation will change as 15 times 1 upon x plus y, right, plus 7 times 1 upon x minus y equals to 10. So that will change as 15a plus 7b equals to 10. Now what is the first rule for applying cross multiplication? Yes, we have to shift the constant to the left side means all the three terms should be on the left side so my equation now will change as 5a minus 2b plus 1 is equals to 0 and 15a plus 7b minus 10 equals to 0 correct now i'm going to take these two equations apply my cross multiplication method to find a and b Okay, so I'm going to rewrite my equations down so that I can start applying cross multiplication method. So 5a minus 2b plus 1 equals to 0, 15a plus 7b minus 10 equals to 0. Now here my variables are a and b, right? So I have to say a minus b and 1, if you remember, right? Then denominators, I'm sorry and equal to sign correct okay. so first thing we'll put is because it's a variable that means the coefficient of b and constant so the coefficient of b is negative 2 plus 7 and my constant numbers are plus 1 and minus 10 let's cross check whether we got the equation correct yes yes okay minus 10. next is minus b so i'll leave the co coefficients of b i'll take coefficient of a and constant Okay, so coefficient of a is 5 and 15 and constant is plus 1 and minus 10. For 1, what I'll do? Coefficient of a and coefficient of b. So coefficient of a is 5 and 15, coefficient of b is minus 2 and 7. After we have written like this, what we have to take? We have to take left, top, right, bottom, we'll draw an arrow. Again, left, top, right, bottom. Left, top, right, bottom. So what is this telling us? We have to multiply these as the first thing. So let's write down a minus 2 multiplied by minus 10, sorry, minus of 1 multiplied by 7, correct? That is equal to minus b, 5 multiplied by minus 10 minus of 1 multiplied by 15 equals to 1 divided by 5 multiplied by 7 minus of minus 2 multiplied by 15 okay so that will be a the whole divide by 20 minus of 7 minus b divided by minus 50 minus of 15 and this will be 1 divided by 35 minus of minus 30 correct so let's take it further so we'll get a divided by 20 minus 7 is equals to minus b divided by minus 50 minus 15 is equals to 1 divided by 35 plus 
okay so what will i get here a divided by 13 equals to minus b divided by minus 65 i can cancel off the negative here itself and 1 upon 65 correct so now what we'll do we'll take half means i'll say a upon 13 and it, sorry is equal to 1 upon 65 and b upon 65 equals to 1 upon 65 correct so what we'll get sorry a equals to this 13 will go up so 13 upon 65 and here b equals to 65 upon 65 right so what are my values of a a is turning out to be 1 upon 5 and b is coming out to be a 1 right now what is my a we had supposed let's go up and see what's our a 1 upon x plus y and what's our b 1 upon x minus y so we'll take that okay so we'll say a is 1 upon x plus sorry x plus y that is equal to 1 upon 5. So in place of A, I am putting 1 upon x plus y. And in place of B, I should put 1 upon x minus y equals to 1. So if you do cross multiplication, you will get x plus y equals to 5. And the other equation is x minus 1 equals to 1. We can't do elimination because it's a cross multiplication. So again, what we have to do, we have to write the equation in, in cross multiplication format. That means the 5 and the 1 will shift to the left. So it will become x plus y minus 5 equals to 0, x minus y minus 1 equals 0. Now x upon minus y upon and 1 upon. So x upon will be 1 minus 1 minus 5 minus 1. Correct? y will be 1 1 minus 5 minus 1 and constant will be 1 1 minus plus 1 minus 1 so applying the this thing so again left top right bottom multiplication left top right bottom multiplication left top right bottom okay so it's x upon 1 times minus 1 i'm going to write a direct answer then minus for the formula minus 5 minus 1 multiplies you'll get a plus 5 equals to minus y divided by minus 1 minus uh, minus sorry plus 1 and minus 1 will multiply you get a minus 1 then negative for the formula minus 5 and 5 will 1 minus 5 multiplied by 1 will give me a negative 5 so i have written wrong here it should be minus 5 equals to 1 upon 1 times negative 1 negative 1 formula minus sign 1 into 1 is 1 so what will i end up with x upon minus 6 minus y upon minus 1 plus 5 1 upon negative 2 right so we'll end up with x upon minus 6 minus y upon plus 4 sorry equals to 1 upon minus 2 okay so we'll take the two sides x upon minus 6 is equals to 1 upon minus 2 minus y upon 4 equals to minus 1 upon 2 so x is equals to minus 6 by minus 4, 2, which is 3, right? And y, I'm shifting the negative with the 4. So negative 4 upon negative 2, which is a 2. So you did you see how we have done the double cross multiplication, okay? Let me take the next question. So next question is this, okay? So again, our denominator is x plus y and x plus x minus y. So we go with the same rule. Let 1 upon x plus y equals to a and 1 upon x minus y equals to b. Okay. Now in these questions, I'll, I'll help you in first cross multiplication method. The second cross multiplication method is yours. Okay. That means you have to finish it off. So let's write the first equation. So 57 times 1 upon x plus y. Sorry. plus 6 upon 6 times 1 upon x minus y equals to 5. So the equation changes as 57a plus 6b, sorry, equals to 5. I need to change it so that I can apply cross multiplication. So my equation will change as 57a plus 6b minus 5 equals to 0. 
Okay. Now the second equation. That is 38 times x plus y plus, sorry, 21 times x minus y equals to 9. So that will change as 38a plus 21b is equals to 9. So let me shift it as 38a plus 21b minus 9 equals to 0. Okay, let's write it down so that we can apply the cross multiplication method. So it will be a 57a plus 6b minus 5 equals to 0. 38a plus 21b minus 9 equals to 0. So first because my variables are a and b, so I'll write a upon equals to minus b upon equals to 1 upon, right? So a upon means the variables, the coefficients of b. So 61, sorry, 6, not 61. 6 and 21, constants are minus 5, minus 9. For b, it will be coefficients of a, which is 57 and 38, minus 5, minus 9, the constants. So 1 divide will be coefficients of a and coefficients of b. Okay, now cross multiply means left top bottom to right bottom, sorry, left top to right bottom, left top to right bottom, and left top to right bottom. So we make that arrow. Okay, so we are going to quickly multiply it. Now I'm going to do direct multiplication. So 9 times uh, 6 is 54, so which is minus 54, minus of 5 times 21 is going to be 105, which is minus 105, equals to minus b divide by. So when you multiply 57 by 9, you get a minus 513, and 5 multiplied by 38 will give us a, will give us a 190. With minus 5, with minus in both the places, because have, we have minus 9 and minus 5. Then 57 multiplied by 21 is 1197, minus 6 times 38 is 228. Okay, now let's solve it further. So it becomes a divide by minus 54 plus 105 equals to minus b divide by minus 513 plus 190 equals to 1 divide by 1197 minus 2828. So let's write it down, a divide by. So when we subtract 105 with 54, we get 51. For 513 subtracted by 190, we'll get a minus 323. 1197 divide minus 1, two, sorry, 228 will give us 969. I'm going to subtract of these, sorry, cancel of these minus sign. Okay, so let's take the half side. Means a divide by 51 is equals to 1 upon 969. And sorry, b divide by 2. 3 to 3 is equals to 1 divided by 969. So A is equals to 51 divided by 969 and B equals to 2, 3 to 3 divided by 969. So when you do the division, you get A equals to 1 upon 19 because 19 times 51 is 969. Okay, so you're getting A as 1 by 19 and B will be 1 by 3. So what was our A? X plus Y and B is X minus Y. Right, so we end up 1 upon x plus y equals to 1 by 19 and 1 upon x minus y equals to 1 by 3, correct? So we get x plus y equals to 19 and x minus y equals to 3. So now I'm leaving this here for you to continue with the second cross multiplication. Okay, I've done the first part, the second part is for you to finish off. Okay, hope this is clear how to go about it. Right? I've taken some extra questions also for you to solve. Right? These are the extra questions for you to solve. Wherein you will substitute a, b, 1 upon x minus y or 1 upon x plus y or 1 upon x plus 1 and 1 upon y minus 1. So accordingly we will do that. Now in this question number second and third, there is less possibility of double cross multiplication. You can get that at the moment you get a and b or your u and b, the substituted values, you will get direct answer for x and y. Okay, only for first and fourth you need to do double cross multiplication. Okay, thank you very much.